Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Cake. Couple of days back, Google has released the Android Q for Pixel devices, and today in this video, we will show you how to download it, and we'll also tell you some new features of this Android Q beta release. So let's start. Unlike the iOS 12, the adoption rate of the Google's current OS, which is the Android Pie, is way low. Apple recently confirmed that over 78% of devices are running on iOS 12, where Google did not release any data, but I'm sure it will not be near to that number. And guys, which Android version you have on your phone right now? And do you get excited when you see any new Android firmware update? Let us know in the comment section below. And also, if you're new to our channel, then don't forget to subscribe to us and press the bell icon and join our notification squad. So let's begin with our today's video in which we will talk about how to download the Android Q beta release and what are its new features. This guide is only for Google Pixel users and it will not work on any other phone as of now. And before you update to Android Q beta, make sure you take a backup of your important data. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Android beta program page and make sure you logged in with the same Gmail ID which you have in your phone. And then there you will see your eligible devices. Once you are there, just tap on the opt-in button and then you just have to go to the settings and check for new update. And here it is, we have the Android Q beta update. The size of the OT update is 1.2 GB for the Pixel 2 XL. It took us approximately half an hour to update and install, but it also depends upon our internet connection. So now let me show you a few things which we know so far new in this beta update. So looking at it for the first time, you won't see many changes up front. The UI is quite similar and it looks exactly like the Android Pie. But once you dig into different menus and settings, you will start noticing changes here and there. And here you can see we have the Android Q on our phone. And the easter egg is right now is same as the Android Pie. So what do you think Android Q would be called? If you ask me, my bet is on Casadia or maybe Kenwa. I know they are not sweets, but maybe Google will change it from Android Q onwards. Now talking about the changes, starting with the all new permission screen, now whenever any app requires a permission, you have this all new design. And also, if you deny the permission for the first time, the next time you open the app, you will have a new option, deny and don't ask again, which is actually a very good feature. There is also this newly designed app info page. Android Q also has a system level dark mode which right now you can enable it when you turn on the battery saver mode. The dark mode is applied system wise and you will see this in the notification panel and also in different menus. There is also now a scheduled battery saver mode where you can schedule it according to your routine or based on battery percentage. Talking more about the battery features, there is one more option which once enabled will show you the battery info next to the clock as remaining percentage and when you open the notification panel, it also tells you the estimate time when you would need to charge your phone again. In the leaks of Android Q, we also saw some privacy improvements where we saw that it will tell you which app is using the mic and camera in the background. That feature is not available yet in this beta, but in the settings, you can see how many apps can access your location and what are the apps which already have the permission to access your location. The one more new feature which we have noticed that in case if you delete any icon from your home screen by mistake, then you have this undo feature at the bottom for a couple of seconds, which I believe is a very simple feature but will be quite useful. In the other changes, Android Q makes the Wi-Fi sharing simple and I can easily share Wi-Fi passwords with your friends and family. Once connected to the Wi-Fi, you can share the barcode which other users can scan to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Then we have some UI changes on the lock screen with the new lock symbol at the bottom and also now whenever you are playing a song, you will get this blurred background similar to the album art. The files app now has a more materialistic look than what we have seen in the Android Pie. Notifications are also slightly changed and you can't remove a notification now by swiping left but you'll have to swipe right to remove the notification. And also, you have this new option where it allows you to silent a notification. One more thing we noticed that if you hear a notification which played a sound, you will get this bell icon next to the notification. In the Android Q, we also saw a new screen while installing a third party APK and it doesn't go full screen like it used to be on the previous versions. Now I'm going to show you some more features which are not activated initially but once you go to the developer mode, you can turn them on. So first you will see this themes option where you can change the accent color for the whole system.
You can also change fonts and the icon shapes. In the developer mode, you can also enable features such as screen recording, which is the Android Q native screen recorder with the voiceover and tap registrations as well. The recording works seamlessly and to be honest, this was the one thing which I miss most in the Android Pie right now. Then we have this freeform option which allows you to have an app in floating window, but for some reason it was not working for us which is kind of expected as it's a beta version, so it will have some bugs and glitches here and there. So guys, these were some of the new features which we know so far of the latest Android Q beta update. If you come across any other feature which we have missed here, then do let us know in the comments below. And also, for some reason if you want to roll back to the Android Pie, all you need to do is just go to the Android beta program page again and then tap on the opt out button. And now once you go to the system update, you will see the Android Pie OT update which will allow you to roll back easily. So that's it guys, this was the Android Q beta update for Pixel devices. Let us know if you like this new update and also do tell us your favorite feature so far of this beta release in the comment section below. So that's all for now. If you like this video, then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again, this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.